Hey, what's up, guys? Today, coming at you with some more Wild Frost. You know what they say, third time's the charm. Hopefully today we can cross the finish line and get a dub on these runs. Our last run ended up falling just a little shy due to me absolutely forgetting what King Moko does. So hopefully, this time, we will remember that our actions do have consequences. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Our last run, we unlocked the... Shade Mancers as a new faction, so now whenever we get the chance to queue up as a leader, <clears throat> we'll get a chance to get a leader from the Shade Mancer faction. And if we choose to use them over one of the Snow Dwellers, then that will change the card pool that we're able to get. So let's go ahead and go. Let's see, it looks like we got two Shade Mancers right out of the gate, along with one Snow Dweller. Apply one Demonize. But Barrage. It's got zero damage, seven health. Gain three damage on kill, nine health, two damage. Attacks every four turns, that's nice. Or nine health, three damage with Frenzy two and a five turn timer. Hmm. You know, I think I'm feeling Valzu here, so we'll grab him. Journal. Let's see what it says. Shades. Before the Wild Frost, shades were elusive shadow creatures known for their ability to possess objects. These rarely seen beings could occasionally be found in dark, cold places like shells and pots. After the Wild Frost, as the world grew colder and darker, shades became more prevalent and powerful. They began to possess dangerous objects and animate them into monstrous opponents. A tribe known as the Shade Mancers found a way to harness the power of these creatures. Using uniquely crafted masks, they were able to turn them into reliable allies. Okay, so I guess that shell guy we fought in the last episode, who I was really interested in, was one of the shades that possessed a shell, I guess. But yeah, these shade mancers, I have, I have played with this faction before, and they do have the ability to summon creatures to help in combat, and that seems to be a potential sub-theme for them. So let's see if we end up drafting any of those. Alright, so tar blade deal additional damage equal to tar blades in hand with base damage is zero, so I've got three. So I guess that's gonna do three damage for me. It looks like our sunburst two two here. That's right, this one deals damage instead of just giving you the rod speed like the like the sun rod does. Okay, so we've got aimless on both these guys hitting for one damage. I don't think I worry about two damage that much. Let's bring out Junjun. Alright. Gonna tar blade this guy. Ouch, ouch. I'll tar blade this guy, which will allow Jun Jun to pick up the kill. Okay. Jun Jun took some damage there. It looks like summoned units lose health after triggering, and I cannot recall. Well, with my play style, it seems that I don't recall people anyway, so I guess that's not too much of a downside for me personally. But if they are gonna take damage. Well, I guess there's a 50-50 chance if I move Junjun here and Bell that they just lose that anyway, so. But I suppose it's a 100% chance that, like, literally nothing changes, I guess, so we'll just try that and see how that works. Okay, cool. That gives Junjun an extra hit, and our guy here just got some extra damage. Gobbling. We can actually hit this guy this time and get a little bit of money. Go ahead and just speed myself up here. Alright, hopefully we can pull some snow out. Nice, we got Snoof and the Blizzard Bottle. Let's go ahead and put Snoof out while the situation is calm. And then we can Blizzard Bottle this guy. Seems like we're going to smack him up something awful this next turn. Looks like Jun Jun's going to dissipate unless I bury Bill. Okay, we have eight damage. Yeah, we can just actually one-shot the boss immediately here. Incredible. Looks like Valzu's a bit of a, a grower, but that's okay. He gets bigger as the match goes on. Can become quite formidable. So we have the option of Charm, Traveler, Traveler, or Money, Treasure, Traveler. I think I might take this top row here. 
just so we can see some more of the Shadow Mancer Traveler companions. Okay, charm we get is the Frog Charm. Gain Fury 3. And this makes it where we deal additional damage while alone in the row. I think I'll hold off on putting this on someone. Uh, putting it on the leader would be pretty nice because then we, you know, our first hit is at least five damage if we can get ourselves alone, which will make it a lot easier to start the ball rolling. We'll hold off on that for now. We might find someone it's better suited for since we're about to pick up two travelers. Groff. Trigger when an ally is sacrificed. Five health, five damage, and frenzy two. That is interesting. I don't have any sacrifice mechanics yet, so I can't really pick this in good faith. Splinter, when deployed, copy the effects of a random enemy. That can be pretty interesting, depending on what enemies we hop into. If we run into the um the big Drek guy again, he might would eat my own units, and that would be mighty interesting to have to deal with. Barry says, when hit, add lost health to a random ally. Three trigger. That's nice. I think I'll take Barry Sis here because decently tanky gives health to other people. Make our other units tank here. Might be a good candidate for the Fury Charm. All right, Shin, Egg, or Tusk. When destroyed, summon Dreg. Okay, Dreg is a big, powerful guy. Four, five. With Frenzy 3, deals 5 damage. Okay, Shin, apply 1, increase by 1 when hit. Okay, so this is Overburn. Explodes when more than or equal to health, damaging all targets in the row. Okay, I think I remember this deals damage equal to the amount of Overburn. So, like, if a target has 3 health and I put 3 Overburn on them, they die immediately. And they deal 3 damage to everyone in the row. So this is pretty cool. I think there are a couple synergies. I'm not really rocking that many. I think Tusk is pretty solid. Giving teeth to all allies, that is mighty helpful, especially with Barry Sis helping us kind of move a lot of HP around in one go. Alright. We got a lot of our companions out. I think I can do some interesting strats here. We can go ahead and deploy everybody. And then we can snow this guy so he doesn't do anything. And then I think the barrage will actually kill the porcupine because these guys both have teeth. I'm going to miss the kill for Valzu. That might come back to bite me, but I think I just tar blade this mimic and then let this damage go through. Arguably, Tusk didn't have to be there. Tusk could have got spared that two damage, but, you know, it is what it is. And we reroll. Okay, Jun Jun Mask, two Tar Blades, Sunburst Tattoo, and Snoof. I think we'll deploy Snoof here. I think we can just Sunburst Snoof and apply a lot of damage to this row this turn. Nice. That Ice Lantern and that Mimic are an absolute pain. Gonna have to get rid of those. That worked really well. Right. Maybe I can start trying to engineer a kill here for Valzer to get a little more damage. Barry Sis is gonna smack this guy for three. Um, I could reroll here. I've got two turns till enemies come. I think I can spend this turn just Barry Villing. I've got three units up there. Might as well try to grab some extra health when you can. I can actually kill this guy with the Sunrod. I think I might just do that so I can save as much damage on the Tar Blades as possible. Okay, the Ringer is here. So I can just Tar Blade this guy to death. Eight damage. Needs to be dealt to that guy, which I think that's going to work just fine because then who would on a three and then I can tar blade that and then I've got four damage coming at this guy which I can then tar blade him as well okay nice that was a good series of cleanups all right can reach right here I think we're at our leisure to make some plays 
Gonna bring June June out here. June June getting hit with that is okay. I think it's just gonna be a bit of a slow grind to kill this guy, but I have T thankfully that I can kinda throw out to get some extra damage when he hits back. He's going to hit for 5 here and take 3 immediately. Both of these units are going to try to attack and deal 0 damage. So then he'll take 3 to go down to 4 and then you can attack. Okay, I can Tar Blade now. There's like a 1 in 5 chance I get the debuff here. Let's just hope that doesn't happen. Nice. You know, working just fine. Alright, so we have a lot of companions already. Not exactly rushing to get another one, but we this route here we get the cave before the snail, so we'll just in here. Maybe we can build up some synergies kind of one way or the other for our current team. Eight allies in a row absorbing their strength and health. Well that's somewhat like the Willy Drake guy, but on a unit just to begin with. That is interesting for sure. I don't think I have a team super conducive to supporting that right now. Grabbing Big Barry again would be pretty nice. I think Foxy, though, we could do some work with Foxy. Because we have that Fury 3 charm sitting around, so I'm going to grab him. I think I will move Tusk off the team. But maybe that means I need to get a Companion Charm quickly. Or the Companion Crown. The Companion Bell, sorry. I'm going to keep naming every item in this game is for the one that let the companion build when you beat the boss so I can move out an extra companion okay so I'm in sheep hopper oh sheep hopper looks like a little baby it's an interesting name we'll buy the crown here I think I'm gonna crown foxy and put this charm on him so my man can get out early and start hitting hard you need to be mindful that he has to be alone to get the full benefit of Fury, though. I will forget, and then I'll look like an absolute loser. Alright, let's go ahead and spin for another charm while we're here. Bread charm. Gain consume. I don't think I want to just put consume on anything right now. So, I guess we'll hold off on that one. Alright, we're up against Bamboozle. Nice. Give Alzu and Fury out here. Or Foxy, I mean, sorry. The baby Snowbow is pretty low concern. It's gonna be one damage. I think I can just tar blade it now so I don't have to worry about it. Okay, Foxy is gonna hit for 12 damage immediately, which is just insane. So he's a 12 here, I've got 14 there, I'd have 17 with these two tar blades in hand, and 18 with the sunburst if I played this last. I could run the boss down really fast, but I think I'm going to instead just try to hit this winter worm a little bit to kind of calm him down. I don't have too much HP to play with just yet, so just letting him hit me with a monstrous attack is a no-go. We can go ahead and get Foxy to act and kill the boss. Split into Bam and Boozle again, and then... Nice. Solid hit. Alright. Got a lot of enemies on the field now. Got some choices to make. We got six damage, or excuse me, seven damage coming down here. I can honestly just throw Barry Sis in front of all that damage. And repurpose her health. I think I may do that. Okay, that just made our leader much ridiculous. Okay, we can move Foxy up here. Let him go alone. Because he is about to go absolutely insane. You know what? This would be a good time to recall Barry Sis, the game reminding me. I do need to recall my companions for that quest, as I keep forgetting. 
Foxy's gonna take one damage. I'm not too worried about that. I think we just deploy Snoof here and let him go absolutely ham on Bam. Okay, Boozle and the wild Snoof are gonna attack. Well, Snoof is worse than Snoof, obviously. So, Jun Jun has three HP. I can actually have Jun Jun just eat both of these for the team. Yeah, I think I'll do that. We'll just have Jun Jun come out and take the hits. Again, born to die. The world is a fuck. Nice. So. He's gonna deal three damage here. I think we can put it into this next turn, maybe. If we get lucky with our draw. I know that's gonna give him frenzy. Actually, yeah, we don't even need to get lucky with the draw. I can just apply the snow here so he skips this turn, and then Foxy just smacks. And I can actually move Foxy down here, because Foxy can down both of these guys, and then down him with Fury 3. So that way, I get extra gold. Call that one Econ. And it's also a 3-kill combo, which I think is relevant for another quest in the town. Perfect. Now we can take the companion limit. So we got a nice roster. Another shop coming up. I think I take this bottom route here to keep, just keep maximizing on the value I can get from the shops. Because that's enough to buy me an extra crown. The Zool Candle. Double the targets overburn. Kills one damage. If we had gone the overburn route, this would actually be a very nice card to have. Shade Clay, make a copy of an item in your hand. Consume. Might be worth copying our Snow Source or our Rod. Could summon Tigris. Gain one when an ally is hit. Okay, so Tigris itself does not attack or trigger anything, but when allies get hit, he gets a lot of teeth. So I can have him sit in the back and build up some teeth and then get a nice chunk block. I think I'll roll with that. Okay, lots of good things in the shop here. That is awesome. I came in here wanting to buy a crown, but these cards are so good. I mean, Sunlight Drum, Snow Cake, and the Storm Globe. I have enough to afford all of those. You know what? Our deck is really thin. I'll buy all of those cards. And then we'll just have to sit out and wait for another crown later on. Okay, Valzu and Foxy coming out here. Okay. Some Tigris really early on. And then put the Berry Sis out there. Okay. So Foxy's about to go absolutely insane on Gawk here. I'll put some damage on Gawk as well. Nice, Barry says repurposing all that health to mostly Foxy did a lot of work for us. Okay, I can move Valzu down here so Valzu can pick up a kill. I think with the way Barry says works, it's just really important to remember to recall her. I think while the getting is good, I may just go ahead and do that. And then I can Go ahead and rod Voxy here so he can just go to absolute town. We can redraw again. Maybe we'll pick up Berry Sis in this hand. Okay, no Berry Sis, unfortunately. Okay, this guy has a decent amount of health. He's got enough teeth to actually just tank all of those jab jotes and kill them as well. It's perfect for us. Can move our attention down here to this bottom row. And I think honestly just Sunlight Drum Foxy allows him to put out some massive damage down here in this bottom row. Then we can move Tigris down here to take out the Pygmy. And we can get June June operational.
Then we can shift like this. So Tigress will take out the Jab Jot, and then I can Tarblade this guy here for one damage, which puts him in kill range of Valzu. Perfect. Then I can move Foxy up here, so I get two hits instead of one to help generate a little extra revenue. And then I can just Blizzard Bottle. Nice, it was really clean there. <clears throat> oh, Muttonhead. Wind snowed, apply one demonize to all enemies. We do not necessarily like that one bit, however. Okay. This is interesting. I've got a couple different options for how I want to handle this. Even though this guy is being protected by a mutton head, I could totally have Tigress just eat the hit whenever he goes to attack and instant kill him to get him out from behind the boss because there is no support coming anymore just what's on the field is what they have which means i think i can just this guy's only gonna do one damage anyway this guy's gonna do four damage but i don't care about that because i said tyrus is just gonna die on the first hit so i think i can just snow cake the boss just lock him out of the fight for forever and roll Yeah, and we'll, we'll, we'll throw Barry Sis back out. Foxy losing his fury now is somewhat unfortunate, but this guy is way dead to rights. Let's see. Eight two yeah okay. yeah at this point I think I can, I'm just free to start putting damage on the boss. I think Snoop's probably the best form of damage to get out here right now. Okay, this guy's gonna barrage the whole row. Tigers is gonna take that hit, but everyone else will live, and then we just gang up on the boss while he's injured here. Snow's going to get plenty of turns to keep attacking, to keep the snow up. So I don't even think I need to worry about playing Storm Globe. Go ahead and re-roll. Yeah, you know what? I can just recall someone. Let me just recall both of these. That way that'll get Foxy's Fury up. I actually think Foxy with Fury is going to ultimately do more damage than everyone out on the field anyway. The next turn, we should get the kill with the tar blade. Owned. Mutton head? More like mutton dead. Got him. Alright. The joke was awful. Okay, double treasure and then bank snail. Or treasure charm. I'm not sure I'm a big fan of either of these paths, really, because my deck's getting somewhat thick. So double treasure just puts more cards in the deck that may or may not be good. The extra charm is nice, but also I don't really need the extra traveler. Getting the money from the cave would also be pretty helpful, because hopefully then I can get a shop before the next massive boss. And then I can buy the crown that I wasn't able to buy. Alright, I think we'll go for the cave. Okay, I do like the Heartmate Station, but I don't think I want to grab too many more consumables since I'm banking, a, or companions, or constructs, since I'm banking so much on Foxy Street 3 right now. I think I'm just going to grab Molten Dip, because that'll help Foxy a lot, even when the 3 3 gets to a point where it's not sustainable. So i Palm on the enemy side. While active, add Barrage to all enemies. Apply 1 Demonize, restore 7 health, or summon Fallow. Summoning this guy on the enemy team actually might sound good to me. Like, just thinking about getting Foxy with a 3x big damage barrage. Somewhat lucrative, I will admit. Okay. 
Oh, number one enemy, the Wooly Drek, baby. Okay. Let's get Snoof out there. We have the leader come up and tank. I think we just apply a lot of Blizzard to the Bigfoot here. Alright. Go ahead and get Tigris out. Okay, Tigris. Can take this hit. Let's go ahead and get our re-roll. Hmm. Or maybe we actually go ahead and sunrod snoof here to get the woolly drick frozen for an extra turn. Oof, that's a lot of enemies. Okay. Well, if we move everyone down, Foxy can immediately kill that Grumble. I think just permanently locking this Bigfoot out of the fight might be the play. Did I just totally misread how much HP Snoofle had? I thought he had enough to take... I must have let him take one damage from somewhere earlier. Oh, duh, the Sunrod. When I Sunrodded him, he took one damage. So we only had two health. That makes things somewhat difficult for us here. Maybe. And this is a total hope. But maybe the Wooly Drek eats the Goblin. Okay, well, that was unfortunate that he did not eat the goblin, but on the bright side, he did eat my enabler of Barrage, which does give Barrage to my entire team. So at least while this guy is out there causing me pain, he is uh, going to be... Enabling me as well. Look, Foxy, I don't like the fact that you could attack into that guy with a lot of teeth. I'm going to miss this gold here from the goblin. I think maybe I just speed this row up and just let Foxy barrage that row to bits. Let's go ahead and reroll here, see what we can get out. Nice molten dip up here would be lovely. Keep big glue coming out. Lots of enemies up here. Okay. I think we just let this happen this way, because now Valzu can kill the Wooly Drek, get some more damage. Okay. I'm going to lose Barrage on everything, but that's fine. That guy's just such a threat. <laughs> I think I want Fix Foxy to pour all his damage on the boss. And we just Storm Globe this Bigfoot to try to not have to worry about him. Okay. I think our plan now may be pretty simple. We just need mission objective survive. Because Big Lou will die when he attacks in the Tigris. I've got one damage coming here. I've got three damage coming up top. He's sitting at seven HP. That's perfect. I just will. I'll just blade this guy. Just to make sure I don't actually trigger anything by giving enemies a bunch of teeth and hurting myself. We'll just hit that guy to pass the time, and then we'll, we'll go on. 
It's new for shooting an injury. That's kind of unfortunate. Okay, I was complaining about a big deck earlier. I think the Muncher may be worth visiting. But you know what? I do like all the cards we added, so I don't think I'll munch anything, really. Also, wow, I've grabbed the companion bill and never moved him out of reserve. That's crazy. We'll still go the route of the cave. I don't want to grab any more cards, but I don't need to feed the munch or anything. I just won't. I'll instead, go to the snail. So want to copy my enemy on your side with one health. That might be interesting. We'll get, we need the crown for sure, because we didn't get that last time. And maybe we'll put the crown on... Snoof. You know what? No, it makes more sense to do it on Barry Sis, I think. We'll do a little gambling here. Set health, blade, and counter to three. I feel like that might just be insane for Foxy. He loses one health but gains two damage. I think, I mean, he's not surviving much on four health anyway. Might as well drop him down to three to get that two extra damage out there. Okay, we can buy another charm or we can get Shade Wisp. Maybe another charm is just good. There might not be an enemy worth copying at the time I get Shade Wisp. Gain Smack back. Now that is what I like to see. I think this would go well on either our leader or Barry Sis. Actually, it's got—I mean, it's got to go on the leader. They have roughly the same health. Barry Sis is just going to ideally transfer health to the leader, but the leader is going to end up with way more damage. So having smack back on the leader might allow us to convert an attack into a kill on the enemy. All right. Oh, Crunker. Okay, backline bombard. Okay, so he did his back on just to poise the back, but hits all targets. Okay, so he's gonna hit everything there. Ew. Maybe we set up like this originally. Maybe we just drum the whole team first. So Foxy's going to absolutely demolish that guy. Barry Sis is going to take one damage and lose all of her damage. Due to Frost. Maybe we just summon Tigris now. I think he's going to get hit with the Bombard when the other guy goes, which is going to be unfortunate because that deals a lot of damage. Oh, I'm so silly. Oh, oh, oh I'm so silly, man. Uh, think think before you do challenge 2023 difficulty impossible all right well that puts me in a bit of a predicament because now i have to actually consider where this spuncher is going barry sis takes this eight damage and dies for the team her eight health is going to go somewhere though Honestly, I think either of these targets I wouldn't be mad if it went on. My main problem is how do I deal with the fact that he's going to take 3 damage here. And the answer is that maybe I just move him to the back and summon Tusk here. So Tusk takes that hit. All of that health went to Valzu, so that's pretty nice. Everyone having access to some teeth is pretty good. We'll bring Junjun out, because maybe I can use Junjun for some advantage on the boss here. Okay, this time, make sure Foxy is alone. Do not bamboozle yourself again. <sighs> Saying that and then almost summoning Snoof got to be one of the strongest... Emotions I've ever had. Okay, Junjun takes this hit. You know what? I could just Storm Globe the boss and not have to worry about him for a little bit. 
I think that might be the play. Junjun's gonna come with Aimless. Okay, so we absolutely do not want Foxy to get his damage reduced like that. I think we just line it up like this. These guys are both gonna hit Junjun, that's fine. Three Teeth is gonna apply some damage back. Okay, three Teeth brings you down to five. I can deal two with a Blade. My leader has the Frost, but can still hit for three. Okay. I think this is how we'll do this, so we can at least get something out of this situation. Nice massive damage swing. Okay. Yeah, we can just have Foxy absolutely melt this guy. Alright. And reroll and see what we got going on here. I think the boss, if I remember correctly, this guy actually gets Snow Guard when I beat him the first time. Which kind of makes me hesitant to... You know what? The boss has Smack Back. This guy will kill himself to the Smack Back. Then Junjun will get an attack on that guy. Maybe I just... Maybe I just bring everyone up here in Molten Dip. You know what, I don't want to snow cake you, but I will do that one. Transform here. Okay, so he does have snow guard. Okay, that ice forge is most certainly a pain. But Bowser still has plenty of damage to come through here. Having Palm here would go so hard, though. I think we do that. I think we put Palm out. Give me Barrage before I attack. Okay. So this guy's about to deal 6 damage. I think this is perfectly acceptable for me, because I'm going to Snowcake this Spuncher here, and he's not going to do anything. Reroll. I mean, even without the Fury, Foxy goes hard here and just kills the boss. But we might as well just sunlight drum this row and then let him go off. Alright, now we can take the redraw bell reduction, which is nice. Barry Sis did sustain an injury, but Snoof is back from his injury. We'll grab another charm, I think. Add plus one and gain aimless. Okay. Do I like that on anyone? Aimless is always so difficult to deal with. I don't want to put it on Snoof because I want Snoof to have targeted snow. I don't really want to put it on Bowzu either because I want Bowzu to be able to pick the kills they get until a certain point. I mean, then they can start doing damage like crazy. Maybe I just put this on Barry Sis. I don't really care too much where Barry Sis damage goes, but this is just a nice damage increase for her. Alright. Let's go ahead and load up. So Foxy absolutely smokes one of these guys by himself. Put Snoof out there. I actually think I can just go ahead and kill this crab, which would be really good because the crab will put out a lot of damage here in a second. Yeah, I don't even need to sunrod that. Okay. One times two is going to be two damage. The snow will bring that up to five. Then Valve won't quite kill, that's unfortunate.
Okay. I think this... Okay, yeah. This makes me want to attack and hit a random ally instead. So getting Barry Sis to hit a random ally... For, I don't think that's too bad. I don't think Barry Sis could really hurt anyone. I think getting the Tar Blade kill here... Is good because then that will give Bowser some extra damage. This guy's Snow Guard, so I'm not too worried about the Snow Globe. But honestly, I can just Sunburst Fox here and have him straight up take that guy out. Very good. Very good. Okay, how do I want this to go? Barry Sis is going to hit a random ally for one damage twice. Hopefully that just goes to Valzu and none goes at Foxy. If they both went to Foxy, I may cry. Okay. So, oh cool. So the Haze actually only applies to one attack. It doesn't apply to both attacks of the Frenzy. So we just hit Snoop for one damage. That's perfect. Just gonna redraw here. Okay, cool. Tarblade, I can break this and get the kill on the crab. Letting these crabs stack up can be really frustrating because they have that damage block on them. Okay. This guy's already snowed pretty hard. I can blizzard bottle this guy for some extra snow. I don't know how much I'm really worried about him, but it'd be nice. Okay. This guy's just running away. There's not too much I can do about all that. If I summon anything more on my side, it's going to prevent me from getting Foxy's Fury. But I think Foxy's Fury has been incredibly helpful. This one. I think maybe I have to summon Palm to give Snoof Barrage on the snow here. Move everyone down. Okay, I can molten dip that row. That would be pretty nice. I think I'll do that. I'm not too worried about Palm existing. I'm going to break his guard here, which is pretty nice. Okay, add hog headed to all enemies while active. Honestly, I'm okay with that. He's gonna do one damage. Let's see if we can just direct that to Barry Sis. I don't like that he's up front though. That's kind of difficult to reconcile, but it is what it is. Put one health right there. Okay. Yeah, maybe I just. Butter him up so Valzu can get a hit on Numbskull. Oh no, I probably did that wrong. I probably should have had. Okay, well, it is what it is. Could Sunlight Drum Foxy to get rid of that crawler? before he can deal the 4 damage, which I think I might need to do. Okay. The way that played out is somewhat unfortunate. I think I'm gonna try to hold off on deploying Tusk here. No way for me to get the best of both worlds. Somebody has to get hazed. I'm still thinking it's best as it's Barry Sis. I can chunk block here with Jun Jun. And then I can move Jun Jun down again for another chunk block. And all I can do really is just pray. That Barry Sis does not hit Foxy. Well, that was all I could do. Turns out it didn't really matter that much. These guys both having Snow Guard is kind of annoying. 
It really limits what I can do with them on the snow front. Okay. Well, now that Foxy said I don't have to worry about being so selective with my placement, I can just go ahead and bring out everyone. Tigers can't attack anyway, so him getting hazed means absolutely nothing. And it doesn't matter in what increment I deal damage to this guy. Just be able to keep him snowed for a little bit here. Alright, his armor is finally broken. Just keep applying that delicious snow. Oh, that was a tough battle. It's going to suck for my man Foxy to be injured, but I'll we'll just have to deal with that. It's going to lower his attack by an amount. At least Barry Sis recovered from her injuries. Oh, nice. There's a journal page before the Eye of the Storm here. We can go for one final shop if we go this way, it looks like. One final shop. Do we do that? I think the answer is yes, we just ignore the munch here. Go to this one final shop. We can buy one last one last crown. Which will probably go on Tusk. And then one last charm. Add one frenzy and gain consume. Hmm. Gosh, if I could put this on snow cake, that would be crazy. I don't know if I want to put this on anything. I just think that charm doesn't really do that much for us. Oh, journal page, okay. The Emperor Shade. As we approach the Eye of the Storm, snarls and roars echoing through the icy winds we encountered this otherworldly shade. Haunted creatures crowded around it as if they were under its thrall. The shade, it can possess not only inanimate objects, but actual living beings. Fighting it is hopeless. I must go back and warn the others by any... Or I must go back and warn the workers do not approach it by any means. Well, I'm already all the way here, so if I just turn around now, it'll look like an idiot, right? We have to approach it, with all means. Alright, the Frost Guardian. When health lost, add equal damage to self and else. Okay, so he is going to be a pain. Because he's going to make everyone really strong. He also has Snow Guard. Okay. I think we want to move my boy Foxy down. Yeah. I think we want to put Palm on the enemy team here. And then we want a tar blade to grizzle. Okay, so we should be able to storm globe the spike wall here to prevent it from hitting Foxy. And now Foxy is gonna kill this row. Almost. Alright. So this guy's gonna do zero damage, which is perfect. So now, we just gotta do what we can to spam rush this guy. Oh, this is perfect. Molten dip this row. Oof. If I absolutely pop off on the boss right now, He's going to give so much damage to all these monstrous foes here. 
Maybe we just focus on killing the wood health that's in this row. Just go ahead and... No, maybe we don't want Tigers out right now. Okay. I do think we want to kill the wood health for sure. And then maybe we're just not worried about Bigfoot because we can find ways to just snow him out of existence. There, so we'll just throw Tigris in front of him. Alright, we'll Blizzard Bottle you. Alright, cool. Transformed into Frost Guardian. That summoned a lot of enemies. Okay, when an ally is killed, lose half health and gain two. Okay, so. It is just going to have to be the case where I do snow that guy out of existence. Which means I have to be really mindful of his timer. Okay, so we're going to take three damage. I think letting Tusk handle that, or maybe I should let Barry Six handle that. So we can repurpose some of her health around. Maybe we should just go ahead and take this time to snow cake this guy again. I just don't want him to exist at all. Alright, Foxy is about to go incredibly hard here. I think we need June June to take a hit for the guy though, so come on June June. Take that hit. Yes. Alright. So now, the Frost Guardian has got quite a bit stronger. We'll have 7 damage coming this route. I think that's fine to so just play it like this. Because in Valzu we'll get pretty low. But Valzu will smack back and kill Grink. Along with dealing some extra damage to the Frost Guardian. And maybe we just search for reroll here. I had a couple options. I know I know Green's gonna die if I leave like this, which is good. I just don't know if I want to let that much damage go into Valzu right now. I could throw out Snoop to block. I kinda wanna keep Snoop on reserve for the Frost Guardian, so I have some way of slowing him down. I think we just sunburst Foxy. And then Foxy's gonna go incredibly hard here. Kill the Uba Bear. Drop that guy's life down. And I think it does just end up the case where this guy is just forever locked out of the game. I think we recall Barry Sis to keep our ally count the same so Foxy can get his fury up. Because we're gonna need shunt blockers here. We're just ways to keep him snowed. Also, oh, more allies. Okay, that's not exactly what I wanted to see, admittedly. Wow, active add plus one frenzy to all allies. That is hard. Okay. Okay. That is incredibly difficult for me because I have to pitch two lives to the Frost Guardian now. Oof, okay, well we need to redraw. Spend our turn redrawing there. Hmm, hmm. That hurt a lot. Okay. Okay, 
Foxy alone deals 12 damage. He'll go ahead and kill this Ice Forge for us, which might help somewhat. We can go ahead and drop Barry Sis back out. Oh my gosh, we're so incredibly close here. Oh, we got it. We got it. So, I have to recall. Oh no, we don't. We don't got it. Not yet, anyway. Because Barry Sis would give 8 health to Valtz, but he's going to deal 12 damage. Okay. I think we just have to do it like this. Otherwise, we would die. Okay, this guy's timer being on two is a pain. Alright, this there's a lot of weight coming on this redraw here. Okay. Freeze. Perfect. And then just freeze again. <sighs> we did it, boys. We did it. <sighs> Third day was indeed the charm. Oh, and now Valzu is possessed. Okay. Victory question mark. Okay, that's a lot of progress on that quest. Icebreaker cabin unlocked. Cool. Got some charm equips, recalled three companions. New pet unlocked, cool. Achieved three kill combo. Okay, a lot of achievements for this one. Okay, back to town. New frost guardian ascended. Oh, so this is my team that I just won with. Oh my. Frostoscope. Okay. So I guess this means my team has now become the final boss. That is interesting. Well, I suppose that gives me something to look forward to, I guess. Slapcrackers. I like that name. <laughs> Introducing the Slapcrackers. Alright, and then, okay, we're almost about to unlock the third faction. Bushu. I like that name. The name Bushu reminds me of Mushu from Wizard 101. I used to play that game all the time when I was a kid. Alright, well, I think we could end that on such a good note. So thanks for watching, guys. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day wherever you are. See you later.